Well, here's my new casting. It's of a heart that's very ornate. But guess what? I didn't design it. Artificial intelligence did. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to use artificial intelligence to help you cast your items. So because I'm definitely not an artist, I decided to use Microsoft Bing Copilot, which is an artificial intelligence program that, of course, Microsoft came up with. In this one, I asked it to make a black and white ornate heart in the style of clip art. Notice it makes many types of hearts. The only problem is, can my 3D printer print those? Some of them not, they're a little complex. So anyway, I'll keep doing it until I find the one that I can finally think my printer can handle. This is the pattern I chose. I think my 3D printer can print this just well. I'll just need to convert it to an STL 3D file. In a graphics editing program, I went ahead and filled all the white in with a dark gray, and then I also blurred it so that way we can actually have a gradient that's actually smooth from color to color or the outline of it so that way I'll have a taper to it and pull out the sand easier. So let's go ahead and put this in a program to convert it. This is Windows 3D Builder. It allows me to import the graphics and then it allows me to decide how high and how deep I want the different graphics from the height map. So right now it made the height map and we'll go ahead and import it into the rest of the program. After it's been imported, you can still move it around, resize it and change the height of it and then also cut the bottom of it. So when you're satisfied, you can go ahead and export that as a STL file for your 3D printer to print. Here's the 3D pattern. It's been sanded, primed, and then epoxy painted.
I normally pour the aluminum out of the crucible to let it cool, but this time I have another casting to do, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in and add more aluminum to it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it'll help me create more content. All right, here's the casting all cleaned up and polished with a buffer. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope maybe you can use AI for your projects. And thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe.